our future is just fine. Young ladies like this, they got us. Uh, the first ever National STEM Challenge. We'll announce our winners later today. We don't know yet who they are. This morning we have two local competitors to tell us about their project. Ladies, good morning. Good morning. Good morning. May I present Sarah Gao, 11th grader, Canyon Crest Academy, and we have Leanne Fan, 10th grader, Westview High School. Ladies, congratulations on being involved in this. That is very impressive. Thank, Thank you, you so much. L listen, I'm here to tell you, uh, uh, I was the science student of my middle school for my three years. Very impressive. Nice. <laughs> and then it all went away, and that was it. That was it. Uh, okay, Sarah, first up, tell me about your project, because this is super cool. I asked, well, what is the project? It looks like uh, one of those protein shakes. I just wanted <laughs> to drink it. It is not a protein shake. This is about clean water, which is a humongous problem around the world yeah. that we may not know about. Explain this to me. Yeah, um, so my project, I wanted to find seeds that can clean water affordably and sustainably. So does anyone know what this is? Do you know what this is? Uh, those are radish, cherry, bell seeds. Exactly. So these radish <laughs> seeds, I, I read them. Um, this is what they look like, radish seeds. Okay. Um, when you grind them up, this is how they look. You get kind of like a powder. Like a powder, yeah. And we just added this to the dirty water, they can confirm. And you can already see that it's becoming a lot clearer. And over time, as the process goes on, the water will become cleaner and clearer um, and just really help solve this issue. <laughs> How did you come, how did you, what? How did you come up with that idea? That's yeah, brilliant. Yeah, um, so I did a lot of background research to okay. kind of figure out, you know, maybe what other like, scientists have found out. Yeah. Um, but I did actually find out, I was the first person to ever use radish seeds to clean yeah. water um, using this process, sure. so I'm very proud of so that. So they have used seeds before, just not specifically, because sometimes that makes all the difference, what yeah. kind of seed, right? Mm -hmm. What made you think, Radishes. Yeah, so I use trial bio, and error. Or? Bioinformatics. So bioinformatics, it kind of eliminates the need to I try every single thing. But <laughs> oh, okay. It's kind of like this computer program for biology, and you're able oh to find God. a lot of cool things. What inspired you? Just you, you saw the news, and you saw reports of people just don't have clean drinking water around the world. Yeah, it's just a huge issue. Like billions wow. of people yeah. do not have access to clean water, especially in rural communities. So I wanted to find a more like sustainable, accessible method. <laughs> Listen, that's why my science career ended in eighth grade. Uh, <laughs> Leanne, uh, tell me about your, the, the, you have headphones here. Mm -hmm. Now you did not invent headphones. No. <laughs> although you probably would have. Uh, tell me what this is all about. Yeah, so these are my Finson headphones. And what I did is I invented headphones that can detect and treat mid-ear infections. Stop it. What? <laughs> so the way You guys, I did the volcano where you did the thing the and it comes up. Volcano impressive too. Look at you. Oh, thank you, you're so sweet. Okay, what? Yeah, so they can treat mid-ear infections using a blue light, which kills bacteria in your ear when you have the infection. And then they have, oh <laughs> the microphone can detect ear infections, so they send a sound into your ear when it reflects back, it can tell whether or not you're You're in 10th grade and you're 11, are you kidding me? <laughs> uh, how did you know that, think of that? Because uh, most kids, they put on the headphones just to listen to music mm -hmm. and play games, but you're doing that. Where did the idea come from? Yeah, so my mom always had a lot of ear infections when I was okay. younger, so I wanted to help her out and invent something oh, that wow. could help her without using antibiotics. I mean, listen, I don't even know. Usually I have a follow-up, <laughs> but you guys are like so smart and the stuff is so advanced. <laughs> oh, and, then, and then you get to pick, like the fuzzy stuff helps? These are my three different models. Yeah. So this Do you is think the fuzzy one. will help with the ear infection? I think, yeah, definitely. Just because it's cute. It's just cute, yeah, <laughs> that's all my <I'm> matter. <laughs> uh, this is cool also. I heard you also teach coding classes to kids. Who does that? Sarah. Oh, I do. <laughs> oh, you do that. What? Oh, Sarah. How do you teach it? Like, how young? Because I know in some elementary school, they're teaching coding like in like kindergarten, mm. first grade, second grade. They're starting young. It's like a whole new language. How do you teach the kids that? Yeah, um, so by teaching them like easier languages. So I like to teach coding through digital art, right? So they're able to like see different shapes, like circles, rectangles, putting them yeah. together. And that really helps them kind of visualize like what code is going on. Um, so I think that's the best way to teach like really young kids or just beginners in coding. Y'all too smart for me. I don't know. <laughs> <in the world. laughs> I'm like, co teach me. Co what, what's a coding? What, what's like, I used to do this thing back in my science days. Yeah, seventh grade. We used to do like write a thing and then you go run a yeah, thing. Yeah. And then, yeah. They still do that? Yes. But it's way more complicated, right? Like what does coding, like explain to people what is coding in terms of our day-to-day -day life? Like what is coding in charge of? I don't even know how to ask it. <laughs> I mean, coding is basically in charge of everything that we see. So from like 
you know, when you're editing oh your, my God, wow. even just editing the video, that's all sure. code that was written yeah. to, you know, make that software. So every time, like, you drive it's your amazing. car or anything, that's all, all programming. Uh, and Leanne, back to you over here. You've been already been named America as one of America's top 22 young scientists. Mm -hmm. Huh? How did they come up with 22? Usually it's like top 20, but oh. top 22. It's the America's 2022 top young scientist. Oh. So, <laughs> two years ago. Listen, uh, top 22, what is that? T okay, so 2022. That's 2022. impressive. How did you get that? Yeah, so it was from the 3M Young Scientist Challenge. Oh, wow. Yeah, they make great tape. They do make great tape. Yeah. I love their tape. Um, this is very impressive. And, you know, they're going to announce the winners. We don't know, whatever. Uh, we do. What's that? Okay, we are told that we have a special, a special message. Uh, for both of you, if you would like, turn to the, this is a TV term, turn Hi, to I'm the Carrie big... Byron from Explorer. Congratulations, because you have been chosen as a national STEM champion. That's right, you have earned yourself a trip to Washington, D.C., where we're going to celebrate at the National STEM Festival. Explorer created the National STEM Challenge so that we could find the nation's top innovators, and that's you. So not only are you coming to Washington, D.C. with me, but we're going to throw in a free subscription to Explorer as well as one for your teacher of your choice. Well, that was supposed to explode. <laughs> Congratulations. You guys had no idea. I had no, no idea. idea. <laughs> Surprise. So you guys do all the fancy uh, sciencey stuff, and we get to do stuff like that. That's amazing. Congratulations. You know, you know Carrie, so right? Carrie Byron, she's a big deal. She's a big deal. Uh, so congratulations. Now you guys get to go and, and do the thing. You guys yeah. are friends and everything holding hands. Look how cute you guys are. Do you guys watch Young Sheldon by any chance? Yeah, of course. <laughs> Me. <laughs> Does that make sense to you guys when Je Young Sheldon's doing all that stuff? Uh, a little not bit. Always. <laughs> uh, you guys are amazing. Uh, so continued you. success to both of you. Keep up the good work. I think our future is in fine hands with these two young ladies. By the way, uh, if you want to know more about the National STEM Challenge, you can go to our website, Fox 5. There's a lot of coding, right, in the website? Yeah, yeah. So somebody had to code to put this mm -hmm. on here? <laughs> the National STEM Challenge, fox5sandiego.com. Click that scene on tab. Uh, Sarah and Leanne, congratulations. Thank you. Thank Look you. at these two, huh? We'll be right back. Science! <laughs>